Mist hangs heavy over a deep wood. A were beast draped with a white sheet peers into an aged mirror resting silently within a ruin. A dark shadow shimmers to the surface. It begins to tell the beast of the strange families that live in the nearby town. Though they are poor, they remain bright and full of laughter. The dark shadow scoffs at this. Their lives are fraudulent. Go now and reveal their true humanity. Show them fear, fill them with hatred, and send them straight into the pits of misfortune. For only by experiencing true humanity will you become human. The werebeast's heart stirs at this sweet sound, and it immediately sets off for town. It eventually arrives at an old manor riddled with cracks and decay. Lurking behind a crumbling wall, it moves to peer through one of the broken windows when... Bang! A sudden explosion and bright flash causes the werebeast to shield its eyes. Happy birthday! Inside the home, a man and woman, both wielding staves, stand before a bashful girl. The room is colored with every hue of the rainbow, illuminating the happy family. The sight causes the werebeast's heart to sink into darkness. It must think of a way to bring misfortune to this family. It must. I will bring misfortune to this family. With its mind made up, the werebeast decides to strike fear into their hearts. It destroys the windows they try so hard to keep shut, and steals any vegetables ready for harvest. Surely, this will cause them no end of woe. But the werebeast's confidence is betrayed. I think the children broke the window. It gladdens me to see them so full of energy. Our vegetables are gone. It gladdens me that no one has to starve. The werebeast's actions were not enough to strike fear into the easygoing family. Annoyed, it decides to lay waste to their kitchen and destroy what meager foodstuffs they have. But as it crouches nearby, plotting, Are you hungry? The werebeast freezes in shock at the voice. Standing beside it is a girl with wavy hair. She does not fear the werebeast. Instead, she extends toward it a simple plate. Want a cookie? When the confused creature shakes its head, the girl sets the plate down and extends her hands toward it. Then let's play. The werebeast finds her aggressive innocence bewildering. Yet, for a reason it cannot explain, it feels a warmth in its heart when it sees her unspoiled smile. One day, the werebeast finds itself drawn by commotion and discovers the family's home engulfed in flames. It sees the frantic parents and smiles, delighted to have finally brought them misfortune. But then, help me. 
a girl's cry. For some reason, the werebeast pictures the girl with wavy hair. The next thing it knows, it has leapt into the flames. It returns to the sobbing parents, carrying the girl gently in its arms. But the villagers greet the werebeast with screams. Its white sheet has sustained so many burns that it disintegrated, revealing the hideous visage beneath. It gathers what is left of the sheet in a panic, but it is too late. Disgusting, cry the people. Monstrous. Surely this creature is what set the house to burn. The town folk's words pool in the werebeast's heart like an abscess, painting it over with shades of impenetrable black. But... Stop. This creature helped us. The parents raise their voices in protest. The girl walks over to the werebeast, tears spilling down her face. I should have been more careful she says. So please, I want you to have this. It is a small pouch with a sweet scent, and the werebeast snatches it and runs away as fast as it is able. The dark shadow hurls insults from within the mirror. Coward. Weakling. Half-wit. Do you not want to be human? Its words twist a dull knife into the werebeast's heart. But the creature holds its ears shut, and the shadow eventually vanishes. Disheartened. The werebeast pulls out the small pouch, looking for something to cling to. It is filled with cookies. Though they are misshapen and burned, the beast thinks they are the most beautiful gems it has ever seen. It gingerly bites into one. Gentle sweetness fills its mouth, causing tears to spill from its eyes. I want to be human. This thought is true above all things, but it cannot imagine causing misfortune to such a kind family in exchange for that wish. It is because I am ugly. A sweet scent rises to tickle its nose. Though it failed to become human, the werebeast does not regret saving the girl. It bites into a cookie. Even the bitter burned bits are precious to it. And it prays it might be allowed this one moment of bliss. <laughs> 